So before this video starts, I just wanted to say that yes, of course you can see Kai's ribs slightly, but keep in mind he's a baby, he's still growing, and actually it is completely normal to be able to see his ribs, and if you look at the rest of his body, he's incredibly healthy, so he is not underweight, he's actually the perfect weight, it's just because he's still growing, and he's a little baby, so don't worry, he's well looked after, he's fed twice a day, he gets the correct supplements and everything, he is wormed regularly, he is a healthy weight. A lot of foals look like this. A lot of little bubs look like this because they're still growing and it's just their little baby stage because they go through awkward stages where they grow at different paces and their body has trouble keeping up with itself. So, yeah. Hi guys, it's Talisha and today I'm doing another working with Kai. I have no idea what week it is, so you'll just know from the title. Um, so, last time you saw Kai, he would have been very hairy and not the most attractive. Yes, hello. And now he has lost pretty much all of his baby fluff and there's still some left and he's got some down on his legs a bit but it's pretty much gone. He's also grown quite a bit and he's getting better looking. <laughs> um, he's getting gelded in about a week so he's ready to be gelded and that's pretty much all that's been happening. I've been working a lot on his feet and last time with his feet he was horrible. Uh, he had his, he was fine with his front ones, but his back ones were not fine. Oh, and also since last time, he's got his hooves trimmed for the first time. So his little feet have been trimmed because they needed to be trimmed. And it was the very first time, and he was so good for the farrier. He had one little moment, but quickly got a hold of himself. I've also been working on tying him up. So I will show you where he's at at the moment. With the tying up, he's not being tied up completely. Well, actually, he has been tied up completely now because he can do that. But I'm going to pretend as though this is my first time tying him up. So I'm not going to tie him up properly because when I was teaching him to tie up, I would just do this. So I have it looped around a fence so if there was a dangerous situation, he could get free. However, if it was only a little thing, I could hold it here. So if he were to pull against it, he wouldn't move. So he's not actually tied up, it's just like looped around. And normally I would have someone here while I'm doing stuff with him, just holding it here but uh, that person's filming so he should be fine he'll just stand here but like yeah so first I'm just going to give him a quick groom he's always been fine with grooming and I'm just going to use a hard brush and go all over his body he hasn't been groomed in ages so he is quite gross yes you are so go down his legs my legs if you bite me you'll know about it um neck, little dirty chest, another good scratch don't you? in his little face, yes, 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 then go round him, to the other side, I can also, I'll do all of his feet twice, unless he's not well behaved for one of them, then I'll do it more times, so I'll just start how I'd normally do it, so run my leg, hand down, ask him to lift up his leg, wait until he's completely relaxed, good boy, and then stick his little hooves out, so I mean his hooves are tiny but it's not much <laughs> it's really in there, and then once I know he's relaxed, gentle, 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 good boy, good little man, and the reason when I'm tying him up like this, it's better to have someone holding it, is because you don't want them to know how strong they are. You want them to think they're weak so they don't get away with stuff, but he's pretty fine with just being standing there. It's not the best thing to do. Run my hand down his leg. Ask him to lift it up. I lift it forward first. Once he's relaxed, lift it out. And when he's still relaxed, pick it out, brush it. He's a bit tense. Wait for him to relax again. Uh, 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 uh. Now he relaxed and put it down. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good boy. Good little dude. Yes, yes. Testing me. Up. Good boy. Front ones don't even need to be done. What are you doing? Gentle, down. Give him heaps of notice that I'm near his butt. Be really firm. He's already resting it, so. Gentle, good boy. Pick it out. And I'll show you what he's like 
now when I'm holding him and doing his feet, which was how he learnt. He learnt with me just holding him. You want them to be able to be used to being held and stuff. And I'll show you how he walks. He's really good with his walking now. Yeah, with his feet. Just up. Then forward. That was horrible with what I did with the rope. So when they trim or shoe them, he's very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Your feet were too close together. But then so with the farrier, he's good for that too. And I'll just do the same with the back. I'll go down with this hand. Ask him to bring it up. Forward. <laughs> and then back. Good boy. And then I'll just do the same with the other side. Um, I'll show you a quick thing of him leading, honestly. He leads like a normal horse now. We don't have any issues. So. This way, I don't have to give pretty much any pressure to the rope. I'm just kind of guiding it with my finger and he knows. And then, stop. So I don't even actually have to ask him with the rope. Good boy. Also started to work on the backup side of the leading, so you're still learning this. But stop. Back, 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 back. Good boy. Keep going. Back, 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 back. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, that's my shirt. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do is working on him trotting and stuff because I'm going to enter him in some lead classes coming up and next video though I'll be showing you him being washed for the first time because before he can get gelded he needs to be able to be washed because they wash him down after so he needs to be used to water and stuff and plus because I want to do some shows with him he also needs to be used to it so in that video I'll show you him being washed and maybe some of him trotting while being led so yeah um, another thing, he's growing quite a bit, so, yes, um, his halter, his little fur halter is now in the last hole, and he's too small for a pony halter, so we're having a bit of a dilemma, but might have to punch a few more holes in this, that's pretty much it, really, he's great, he's growing, his mane's growing, oh, and his knee has completely healed up now, yeah, it has, yeah, gonna take my hat aren't you? Please don't. Yeah so his knee's completely healed up now which is good and if you don't know he had a little accident on the way here when he was floating and he hurt himself because he couldn't be tied up back then but also pretty soon we'll be doing floating him for the first time and I'll film that and show you what he's like and yeah that's pretty much it. Second time floating. Well second time floating but no, bye. See ya. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I will see you tomorrow for my vlog. Bye. <laughs> You're a rat. I got your face. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> so I'm just wearing a plain black singlet with my white carrots breeches because it's the only carrots breeches I own. They're really dirty at the moment, but yeah.